welcome to the parent education series module about covid-19 in children the topic that we will be discussing in this episode is covid-19 and childhood cancer i am dr vasudha n rao pediatric oncologist at rainbow children's hospital bangalore in the next few minutes i will be talking to you about covid-19 and childhood cancer certain do's and don'ts as you all are aware covid-19 has in indeed wreaked an havoc across all over the world This is especially more so for children with cancer because they constitute a very vulnerable subgroup of children who have weakened immune systems. Hence, they are actually theoretically at a higher risk of infection with COVID-19. This includes children who are receiving chemotherapy, chemotherapy and radiation, those who have got allergenic and autologous stem cell transplants and also those up to 6 months of completion of their therapy. But what we have learned over the past one and a half years or so is that children are less likely to acquire COVID-19 infection as compared to adults. More so, children have not been found to have severe COVID-19 disease as compared to adults. What is reassuring is that this result also holds true for children with cancer. Children with cancer have not been found to have severe COVID-19 disease. most commonly they either have asymptomatic covid-19 infection or mildly symptomatic covid-19 infection where the symptoms could manifest with cough fever shortness of breath diarrhea or just a feeling of fatigue and malaise so what are the things that you can do as a parent to prevent covid-19 infection in children with cancer the most important thing are the precautions that you can take Since your child is going to be immunocompromised, it is very important for you to wash your hands for at least 30 seconds with soap and water. Additionally, use an alcohol-based sanitizer, especially after returning from outdoors after a hospital visit and using public transport. Encourage your child to wear a mask, leading by example yourself. It is important to teach your child not to touch their nose, mouth or their eyes because this can increase the risk of transmission of covid-19 it is important to maintain social distancing especially in the hospital and in the doctor's clinic it is also important to avoid contact with people who may have symptoms of covid-19 themselves in addition when it comes to children with cancer please do not cancel or reschedule the appointments for your chemotherapy without discussing with your doctors at the hospital we take utmost care so that ch- people or children who have been suspected to have covid-19 infections are actually isolated in special rooms the equipments used for them are cleaned thoroughly and appropriately hence your safety of the immunocompromised child is of utmost priority for us and hence please attend all the scheduled appointments as usual because the delay and breaks in chemotherapy can be more detrimental for the child as opposed to a fear of acquiring a covid-19 infection if your child is diagnosed with covid-19 infection or develops a fever please get in touch with your treating team do not change the medications that he or she is taking all by yourself if your child is on oral chemotherapy medications please continue that and do not stop it for fear of the infection It is very very essential to alert your healthcare worker or your doctor in case your child or any of the family member gets symptoms of covid-19. They will have to be tested for the covid-19 infection and there may be circumstances where the child's chemotherapy protocol will have to be adjusted or delayed as the case may be. There are no special medications that we use for children with cancer who acquire covid-19. Most of them have mildly symptomatic infections and require only supportive care like the other children who contact covid-19. It is very important that all the adults who come in close contact with your child who are more than 18 years of age should have received two doses of the covid-19 vaccines. Remember that they may be a carrier and they may spread an infection to your susceptible child. In addition to this, a flu vaccine is also recommended even when your child is receiving chemotherapy, but make sure that it is the inactivated flu vaccine which is given as an injection. Also ensure that the children, brothers and sisters also receive the flu vaccine. So in summary, please be rest assured that majority of the children 
who have got cancer and who have got COVID-19 infections have got very mild asymptomatic infections and recover spontaneously from them. There is a small proportion, a very small proportion of children who may need ICU uh, admissions as well as oxygen. Last but not the least, I would take this opportunity to appeal to all of you to consider blood donation for these children with cancer. In the first and the second waves, children with cancer chemotherapy faced acute shortages of blood since most of the population were not ready to come and donate. This is more so if you are just due for a vaccination. Before you get vaccinated, please make it an effort to donate blood since these children are in need of blood and blood products throughout their treatment. Thank you.